Today I finally hit the road and the search is quite simply to find courses off the beaten track, which sounds like the perfect name for this new series. Right, okay, let's kick the morning off with uh, a confession. I did say that all of my travels would mean I would be staying in this van and sleeping in it. However, a viewer suggested I stay in one of the coolest places, uh, which isn't too far away from the golf course we're visiting today. And uh, to be honest with you, having seen it, I couldn't resist and more from the accommodation a bit later. But for now, I'm up in Scotland, of course, there's some stunning views where we're going. It is Southern S Golf Club. I can't wait to get there. The weather isn't perfect right now, but I'm assured the sun will come out very, very shortly. Well, I'm not too sure where those assurances came from, but as the clouds offered a glimmer of sunshine, it was far outweighed by darker skies, and our hopes of a glorious day on the links were soon fading. The journey over teased brighter skies and as with all golfers I held on to the hope that as often in Scotland the rain would disappear when I get to that first tee. Now some of you may have seen Southerness on this channel before in the Scotland's Less Obvious series and I absolutely loved it. The sun was shining, I had a little breeze, and today is very different and a much truer test on the links. And that last visit resulted in the lowest gross round I have ever posted, which was a one over par 70. And I hope I don't regret returning and ruining that memory. And talking of memories, why is it golf courses can evoke such emotions of joy and misery and not always in equal measure? Irrelevant to what I score today, I can guarantee I'll be smiling at the end. Well, inside at least. Oh, solid start at least. Great strike. Sit. Sit. If anyone's wondering, I'm uh, four over through the full nine and I won't be threatening my round of 70 from previous. Let's see how we get on on this back nine. Oh, solid start at least. Great strike. Sit. Sit. 
I think that could be a bunker. <laughs> And whilst the rain held, the skies darkened and my ability to show the true beauty of Southern S became a challenge. And within a blink of an eye, the storm hit. The rain fell and clouds took away my light. I did, however, have one more morning to capture Southern S and my hopes lay in the hands of the gods. What a difference a day makes. I'm now squinting because the sun is in my eyes. I'm going home late on this afternoon, but before I do, there's one golf hole in particular that I just cannot wait to share with you. So don't go anywhere. As ever, I have my camera at the ready, and my goal today is not only try and get some incredible footage of this golf course, but also the best photograph I or my wife can possibly get. It's a challenge, but I would love your input, and I'll tell you how shortly. I'm just so glad we got back up this morning and came back out. As you can see by the flag, zero breeze, sun in my eyes. Life couldn't be any better right now. Right now, before I get my back nine underway and hit a tee shot off the tent, I just want to, uh, I mentioned that I wanted your involvement in this video and the challenge that we've set. My wife's behind the camera and we've been taking a number of photographs over the past two or three days and I want you to decide which one is best. So put your comments down below and make sure. Right, here we go. How nice is this this morning? Oh, life's good this morning. The swing is as well. This is definitely the winning photo, by the way. Definitely 100%. I've just won with this one.
Right, so this is the hole that I came out for and to show you in this light. It's absolutely perfect. As you can see from that drone footage going over now, um, just perfect light. Unfortunately, it's not facing the right way for me for this tee shot, but it's 381 yards. It's stroke index six and it's a par four, but it's such a well-designed hole. It's left to right, as you can see on the dog leg. And it's quite a severe one. And the further you go left off this tee shot, you're left with a horrendously long shot into a very tough target. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go at the bunkers on the corner of the dog leg with mini driver and see if we can get as tight to those as possible. Come on, and Always nice to play a hole that you like well. Well, I've played it well. I just hope it stays out the bunkers now. Have I been too greedy? Well, again, I'm looking right into the light and I can't quite tell. It went exactly where I aimed. It's close to the corner of that dog leg. If it's pulled up just short of the bunkers, then we could be in a perfect position to play. What is pretty much a perfect golf hole, to be honest with you. Now, rarely when I aim for something do I actually hit it. So I can't believe this has made its way into this well-placed bunker, which is what I always say about good course design. The flag is still tucked way over there and I can't take anything more than a 58 wedge to try and get up and out of this thing. Try and get as far over to the left to leave a bit of an angle for the third. Yeah, that's good. Get out. Okay, we're in the middle of the fairway again. We're reliant on a, a decent iron. 120 to the flag. Look how that sits on the horizon. I just want one decent wedge and come on. Stay left of the flag. Should be good. Sit down. Yeah, we're on maybe a little bit too cautious, trying to stay away from those two right side bunkers that protect the flag. You can watch this putt, but it's that backdrop you should be looking at. What an incredible golf hole this is. Two putts and for a bogey five. Turn a bit. Oh, the pace was perfect. Bogey it is, but am I bothered? Not one bit. Just look at that. Oh my word. Southern S Golf Club is in Dumfries and Galloway in the southwest of Scotland and sits on the Solway Firth. This is a championship golf course and an open qualifying venue for good reason. The course gives you nothing and everything is earned at Southern S. Arguably your short game will decide your fate. The subtleties of Lynx golf that often go unnoticed can wreak havoc with your scorecard. Cambers, swales, uneven lies, and of course the elements will play their part. This time of year means a loss in colour from both heather and gorse, but the autumnal colours and hills in the backdrop provide a different kind of beauty at Southern S. And of course, I didn't regret returning to Southern S. Quite the opposite. My golf might not have been as good as my previous visit, but what hasn't changed is how good Southern S is and will continue to be. Those views don't disappear in reality, nor memory.
Bright or dark skies only affected my ability to film in preferred light, but neither took away my enjoyment of playing golf in November on the magical Lynxland in Scotland. The green fee was just £55. So my job was done. Well, almost. I had one thing left to achieve back at the lodge. the view of me and my speedos in a hot tub would rival the 12th at Southern S, I'll save that for another day. Thanks for watching.